uh, we'll, we'll worry about, you know. Yeah, that's the big fish. Right. That's the big fish we've got to fry. Jamming in, one more call. Chris in Maryland, you're on the air. Good to see you guys. Hey, fellas, um, it's my understanding. Maybe you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I had a discussion with my dad. But the real issue isn't your Hannity's and your Glenn Beck's. Isn't the real problem the progressives that are taking over our nation? Absolutely, but the problem is Beck supported the banker bailout. Beck says global warming's real now. We've discredited the, the fake liberals. I, I, I'm attacking anybody who's unconstitutional. And uh, but I mean, what's your point there? The point is, is that the progressives, and I, I believe maybe a hundred percent of the Democrats and the majority of the Republicans together are all progressive in destroying the Constitution. They're after the Constitution. All right, listen, i got to let you go because that's not really a question on this issue. Phil Berg, we got Lindsey Williams coming up, and I'm going to get him to hold a few minutes. I'm sure he's fine because we've got an hour and a half with him coming up. I want to come back and take some calls. One guy disagrees, Ted in North Carolina. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. One major world crisis away from having a totalitarian type of system. The main event is the, the wholesale destruction of the world economy. The push for every nation on the globe to identify and number all of its citizens. Friends, I hope that you will order Shadow Government from InfoWars.com. We also have some specials where you can get some of our other films half price when you order Shadow Government. A new level in production quality and in information. It exposes how a cashless society surveillance beast grid of total uh, control is being put into place. This film needs to be seen. Everybody needs to get it. So order yours today. Show it to your friends, your family, your church, your neighbors, your boss, your employees. Shadow government, ladies and gentlemen. Get your copy at InfoWars.com today. Shadow government. It gives Big Brother a black eye. Available at InfoWars.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at efoodsdirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. Proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Okay, I'm going to play about a four or five minute clip from my film Fall of the Republic on a separate issue of treason. I mean, he should be impeached right now for this alone. This is absolute fact that you're about to hear. But... I want to go to a call of, uh, that disagrees because I didn't see them uh, there on hold. Ted in North Carolina disagrees. 
I guess with the whole birth certificate issue or him being Barry Sitaro. Uh, so go ahead, uh, Ted. Uh, what I disagree with is you're telling us this is the big fish who's the uh, foreign usurper, and we've got dozens of members in Congress and the Senate that are dual citizens of another country. And they've already acted on that to start some wars that we shouldn't have been in. And you've got this disgraced lawyer on who's been fined $10,000 and had to do hours of ethics classes for uh, legal malpractice. Okay. Well, I, I, I don't know what you're talking I mean, I, I'm... Alex, I'll, I'll comment on that. You know, I have had hundreds of cases since I was admitted to practice in 1970, which is 39 years ago. And one case, we admit, we screwed up on. I'm not perfect, okay, out there. And I did get fined, okay, but that's not the point. The point is here, and the point of when you mentioned men versus Congress dual citizenship, that's a different situation. That's not the person running for president or the usurper that is president. Well, so, let me uh, stop you. Ted, I appreciate your call, but let me say this. We're dealing with Barack Obama, who is starting all these new wars. Phil Berg's been anti-war the entire time. I know doctors, dentists, lawyers. There isn't a doctor or a dentist that I know who hasn't had somebody try some malpractice thing on them. That happens to any lawyer who's been a deputy attorney general or anybody else. And, and, and so to sit there and say, you know, that, that uh, Phil Berg was disciplined once, I mean, all the real lawyers I know are constantly getting disciplined. So for you to, I mean, see, this is a red herring. We're talking about Barack Obama. His real name being Barry Sitaro, and this guy calls in talking about Israel. You know, I was talking about Israel and all the problem with Rahm Emanuel and being in the Israeli military uh, last week. I mean, we, we, we cover all this stuff, and then people get even madder because that's not the only subject that we cover, Phil Berg. I mean, Phil, would you be for a dual citizen of Israel or any other country being president? No. So there you go. I mean, again, it's a red herring. Let's talk to Andy uh, in New Jersey. Andy, you're on the air. Yes, uh, thank you, Alex. Both of you gentlemen definitely bleed red, white, and blue, and that's why I listen to you. And as far as Mr. Berg, I've been to I've been hearing him on TV or uh, radio, and I know he's never waffled, and he sticks to his story. That man is powerful. And, Alex, he paid you a nice compliment because um, a man of his stature – uh, definitely wants to get his word out through you because you're the John Paul Jones of this country right now. Now, the reason why I call, I believe this country has received its biggest terrorist attack short of a nuclear bomb the day Obama got, or pardon me, the day the financiers of Barry Satoro got him into this office. He's clearly a terrorist bomb in this country as we speak right now, Mr. Berg. Well, I, I, I can't disagree with you. I mean, he listen, if he's not a phony, then what's he doing here? He, he's definitely a Muslim. He's apologized for the United States. He's out there uh, bowing to uh, the Saudi king, bowing to the Japanese emperor. You know, this is sending our country in the wrong direction, and it's time we cleaned it up by a peaceful revolution. And you know what, Alex? You've helped me the, with your passion for this, and you're a very intelligent man. You've helped me to connect the dots on this. So without taking any more time, I want to hear the other listeners. Thank you both much. You bet. Thank you. I've got to let Phil Berg go because we have our other guest, Lindsey Williams, with breaking news uh, coming up. In fact, I need to have his bio. Here it is. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and play a clip from Fall of the Republic here about what we know. 100% bona fide confirmed. President of the world, Barack Obama. You talk about treason. Here it is. And we know his real name is Barry Sotaro. Obamacrimes.com is Phil Berg's excellent website. We appreciate his courage. And, uh, Phil, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. I'll be glad to be back anytime you want me. God bless you. Thank you. You know, I've just got, thank you. I, I've just got to say, you know, the one guy that disagreed with him, I put him to the head of the line when his call came in, and it wasn't about the birth certificate or Indonesia or Barry Sitaro or any of it. It was about uh, Israelis. Okay, Obama is full of Israelis in his cabinet. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just craziness. It's just, it, <laughs> there's so many issues we cover here on this show. Now, here is a clip from the two-hour, 25-minute film, Fall the Republic. Get it on DVD at Infowars.com. The people are ready to be woken up. Order the DVD, make copies, get it out to people. Here it is. The finance heads of the 20 industrialized nations met again in late September of 2009 at the G20 summit in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. At that meeting, ministers called for an end to the dollar as the world reserve currency. 
They also called for a strengthening of global governance and called for a new world order. While the bankers were busy carving up the world at the G20 summit, Barack